Into the Breach is possibly the best puzzle game of all time. And I've only just played it recently. It came out last year and foolishly I have not looked at it and therefore not included in, in my top 10 games of the year. But now I guess I'll have to cover it separately then, which is good. Let me just choose the right color because yellow is definitely the finest color for having <laughs> Max. So, Into the Breach is a game where time traveling mecha robots fight against alien bugs. Are they alien? I don't even know. Let's go to, the, to my favorite donut world and, well, I guess jump right in. Okay, so on each level you have a certain number of objectives that you have to do. In this case here, here it's only defend the bombs and well it's normally fairly simple but you never know well I, I mean the first level is fairly easy regardless so you, if you're looking at this you probably assume that this is a, a very combat ge based game but as I mentioned it's it's in fact very puzzle based I, I chose the default squad didn't I hmm. no, that's slightly annoying well, I mean, I can probably deal. How will I get that one out of there? Okay, I, I, I don't actually know if, if I'm allowed to drown the bomb. Am I allowed to drown the bomb? <laughs> that would solve my problem. <laughs> Let's do it. No, I'm not allowed to drown the bomb, okay. Well, sorry about that. Guess that was failure from the beginning. So as we see, we, we're in a a tough spot here because that one is well. I mean, the only way I'm gonna get to save this bomb is by pushing this. What is it? The wasp? A hornet? Right. Pushing this hornet. There is no wasp. It's just. Oh my god! There is no possibility of doing this, is there? <laughs> Holy shit, what a what an embarrassing brain fart. I couldn't realize how to do this mission, so I chose to to abandon the timeline and start over. But the obvious solution here would have been to, to use the artillery mech to shoot the, the wasp and then it would have gently pushed the bomb out of the way without damaging it. Look at me trying to figure it out without being capable of doing it. Oh look there, I would have bo blown my the bomb into me. Nope, that wouldn't have worked. So yeah, sorry about that. It turns out I started over, but I didn't need to. So there we go. I'm an idiot. Amazing. I right, defend the train. That one's fine. I mean, actually that one's pretty crazy too at times. Let's see what happens. I mean, maybe I should be putting more, more thought into where I spawn my guys, but now oh, wow, I'm gonna get webbed. Lovely. So anyways, every mech has a different move. Well, I mean, there's there's four classes of mechs and then, well, every every mech can install two weapons on it. And by default, each mech has a, a, a specific weapon that only this one mech has. And in this case, we have got the artillery mech, which has this artillery, which deals one damage and pushes every, every object it, away from the center around it. This is four blocks, by the way. This is never any... It's, it, there's always four possible blocks that it'll push, and they're right around this. So now if I put it here, it's going to blow up the, the the leaper here, push it into the thing, and thereby killing it. It didn't deal any damage to the leaper, only pushing the leaper into the mech dealt the damage, but also damaged the mech, so there you go. Right, the, the, the leaper was in the way of the train. You can see by mousing over the train that the train would have moved forwards. And that's where the game is a very interesting puzzle game. We, we see that this scarab here is shooting at this position of the train. We can mouse over this attack order here and it, we see first move is scarab shooting the train. Second move is the other scarab shooting this building, which we can't have. Uh, which we can't have. We're gonna put punch this scarab away, 
And we're also gonna position ourselves on this spawning area, which spawns a new enemy unless you block it, but it'll damage you while you block it, so. There's a nice catch-22 or something. Is that what it's called? I don't know. This is the punching mech, which deals two damage and pushes the enemy away. So if you push, if you punch it and then there's a wall behind it, it'll de it'll take an additional damage from the wall. Or if there's a if there's water and it's not a flying enemy, it'll drown. In the f in the first squad, all the attacks have a, a fairly straightforward pushing effect. This one is the cannon mech, which is it's classified as in it's not a ranged but a brute class, which means that it's well. I mean, are, are ranged usually artillery? I guess the artillery is ranged, yeah. So that makes sense. Anyways, that means that it can easily equip other brute weapons such as a charging engine or whatever, but. I, since the game is kind of roguelike-ish, you'll be quite lucky to get a, a charging engine. All right, so I, I moved it out of the way. It only dealt one damage because there's no end, nothing behind it. It's quite a weak attack, but you can upgrade it to be more powerful. You can upgrade several things. It's very interesting stuff altogether. All right, so now we're going to end the turn. We're going to take damage from blocking an enemy from spawning. The train's gonna move, and another enemy spawned because I couldn't block that one. Alright. This enemy shoots in a line, which is easily avoided by stepping out of the way. Also, a good idea is to block... Let me just check for a second if that's the... Yeah, that's the right thing to do, I think. Uh... Yeah, it's the right thing to do, because I can shoot this this firefly and push it onto the spawning block, which means that there will not be any spawning there, and that's good. And then uh, I could block this, but I think I'd rather... wait. Oh. Can I...? Alright, well, I, I see I'm gonna take damage here from the scarab if I keep staying here, unless I kill the scarab. I can kill the scarab using this, damaging this mech, but this mech has enough health so it wouldn't matter. And I could block another spawning spot by moving this mech here, but then I'd have to heal up this guy so he can take the two hits from the spawning enemy and the scarab. Every turn you can heal, but it takes a turn, so... Uh, well, it's it's fine. It'll if you on fire, for example, you can just heal, and you're not on fire, and you've healed one damage. So that's a very useful feature. I'm gonna decide to blow up the. No, no, I'm gonna block it. And I'm gonna heal, and that's it. Oh, this one. Sh oh wow, I didn't look at the health, but luckily I still have the healing move. Otherwise, he would have died from blocking here. So as you see, this game is very, well, I, strategic, yeah, strategic is the word. And you, you may think that you have to, to make hard choices a lot of the time. And yeah, sometimes you do, but most of the time, most of the time there is an optimal way of doing it and you don't have to do hard choices. Okay, so I'm gonna have to kill the scarab. I think I'm gonna be able to kill it easily with the cannon mech. And this is the last turn because it says victory in one turn. I guess the the bugs will just retreat after this time. And so I'm gonna shoot the the scarab to get it away from there. So I have to shoot defend these buildings. If I I have five points of health up there, the power is the health. And if they destroy the building, you lose power, which is retarded because clearly that building is wasting power. Look at it, it's burning lights in the middle of the day, but whatever. That's the rules of the game. Okay, I'm gonna kill the scout to save the building. I'm gonna... I don't have to do anything here to... to... I mean, this. I only have to move out of the way so this firefly doesn't hit me. And that makes it useless, the firefly. And... I can pu push this guy into the water, killing it. And... Well, it doesn't look like I can kill this firefly now, because... 
wait, no, I can actually. Don't be silly, there we go. And you see that this this particular move doesn't damage the thing it pushes, unless it pushes it into something. So I can shoot this and, and my mech here is fine. And thus I have completed the round optimally. And that's sweet. Uh, but most of the time you can't get everything. Most of the time enemies will retreat on the last turn. But if you play it right, they won't deal any damage to anything. They'll just retreat. I mean, they, they'll do their turn and then it... If, they, if you haven't killed them, they'll they'll go underground. And, yeah, it's a... I don't know, I, I gotta tell you, this is very addictive, this game. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, well, we got more Leapers. They deal a lot of damage, but they're very squishy, and it spawns... Hornets out of the ground, which is not a common thing. I guess I guess there's quite a lot of different possibilities for things to happen Okay, this looks cool. This looks like I can Take more damage than one on this turn. I, I mean I can deal more damage than one. Yeah. Oh And then I've killed my, <laughs> my Artillery guy. Oops. Ah, looks like I made another mistake in the video. So I could have easily saved the the artillery mech from the scarab if I had just moved the cannon mech right in front of the scarab and shot. And I would have instant killed the scarab. But I didn't see it like an idiot and instead restarted the turn, which you can only do once per per map. I mean once per game battle. Battle is what it's called. So there you go. Me foolishly reminding. <laughs> So even after all this time, I'm still not even close to perfect at this game, and there's always more you can teach me, and it's great. Oops. <laughs> Alright, anyways, I guess I'll have to proceed killing this sleeper, and... Hmm. Doesn't look like I can do anything more interesting here. Yeah, I messed up a little bit here. Hope it doesn't do concern me too much. Alright, so that... The, the mission here is to not take any, to not take more than four points of damage, or to, well, if you do, you can heal up. But because healing takes turns, it's obviously not always possible. This, these these objectives might seem quite arbitrary, but it, it's fine. A fine objective. Now I would like to go here and just punch these guys and then deal a lot of damage to them. But considering they're not attacking, I don't actually have that choice because I have to save these buildings, I think. Okay, so my priorities here are, are this enemy and this enemy. I can... Hmm. The wasp here is easily avoided just by moving this mech, so that one's not a priority. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to use my punch on this one. Wait, no. Not necessarily I don't have have to know. Okay, so I'm gonna be able to, to get away with doing this nice punch here that deals three damage. Then I can move my I can use the artillery mech to push this one away. It, it's gonna attack that mountain now. Oh and then I can shoot this one, which would kill it anyways, but now that there's the wasp behind it, it'll deal extra damage to the wasp as well. So that's good. And once you know how much damage your mechs do, you'll be able to be quite powerful, of course. But there we go. Looks like I'm doing quite well again. Unfortunately, you can't skip the part where they move around, which is very tragic and also my you can't move past diagonally so now these wasps are literally blocking me how nice well actually I, I can't move there anyways because there's no ground there and I'm not flying okay so maybe I won't take damage okay so if I do this uh, no that's not ideal hmm this will deal with this wasp but then this hornet, ah, uh, yeah, hornet. This, this hornet would be here, but I need this ha to have a, a, a clean line of shot towards this enemy. 
maybe. <laughs> no, I'm overthinking it, aren't I? I can just do this and save. Oh, three damage, sweet. I can save this and then I can... Did I just fail? Yeah, no, no, I didn't fail. I forgot that the, I can deal one damage here directly. All right, there we go. Yeah, I may not be the fastest player here. The thing is that this game is is really cool and really simple and therefore I'm thinking that if I play it long enough maybe I'll be as fast one day as I am in playing Minesweeper. If you haven't seen me play Minesweeper I'm really fast at that. I can beat it in like two minutes on, on Expert. I'm really quite happy with, with Minesweeper. So I'm hoping that this is a, like an advanced version of Minesweeper. That would be neat. Alright, well looks like I've aced another Found. Not yet, there we go. Alright, sweet fun. And there we go, I, I only took one damage as well. I didn't even pay attention to that secondary objective, so that's cool. And there you go. I... Well, I turned out I killed everyone again, but sometimes you just don't get to kill everyone. I'm gonna show you now Oh, I really hate to do this. I'm gonna abandon this timeline. I mean, I don't have any achievements to get here anyways on this. Playing this squad. Alright, so I'm gonna show you now my... I think this might be my favorite squad. The the Rusty Hulks. Oh, I didn't even win with them yet. Maybe I can do that now. <laughs> Alright, so the Rusty Hulks. They are a very special squad. They are... Okay, so we have a jet plane, which is cool. We, we don't have a, a humanoid uh, mech, also known as a Prime. Don't know why. Maybe it has to do with Optimus Prime, I don't know. Okay, so we basically, I, I guess, some kind of B team because we don't have a, a strong leader like that, but basically uh, with this squad, by the way, I, I suggest you unlock this squad uh, as your first squad because it's just such a cool concept. Okay, basically, this the squad is has this this passive effect called Storm Generator, which means that all smoke clouds deal damage every turn, and smoke clouds have the they normally have the effect that you that they deal uh, that they interrupt the attack of whoever is doing it. Uh, is in it so oops uh, if I here my basic attack is okay I shouldn't do that all right let me check out what I can do I need to defend two bombs oh there's the other one oh wow this is not an easy mission okay so I I will shoot this missile here to save this bomb from the scarab this one deals more damage and it makes a storm cloud behind it, which I already like a lot. It's a very good artillery unit. Um, and then I will use this pulse mech, which unfortunately is probably the, the worst part of the of that team, that pulse mech. All he can do is push things away and that doesn't even guarantee damage, but in this case I, I saved this building from this Alpha Scarab here, so that's good. Huh. Wasn't really thinking there. No, actually... Yeah, no, that was necessary. Okay, so now I can show you here, I can... I will... This, doing this will cancel the attack, but is that what I want? Okay, I'll, I'll show you the... Guess I won't attack with this one. I'm 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 choosing to block instead because I want to kill this this scion. I guess is what the, the squid is called. That gives an, a a passive b buff to all the enemies. Those are so annoying. You want to kill them as fast as possible because they they heal every enemy by one heart each time, which is of course outrageously much. Hmm. Now I could kill that scion with this uh, with this attack here, but I don't know if that's a good idea. 
Uh huh. Well, I need to say, that's exactly what I was telling you about. Now I want to kill them, and by killing them, I would be killing this this scion. But I have to defend all the objectives, so I won't be killing the scion. It seems. Instead, I will be saving the bomb from the scorpion. Scorpions, by the way, shoot webs just like real scorpions. <laughs> uh, well, it seems that. The scarab isn't easy to stop, but I can stop it by shooting a, a, a cloud out of my rocket. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to take damage here. Oh wait, it's important. Damn! Well, it looks like I moved my chat mech too far away from being able to kill anything, so I guess I will get to kill this sign here. So it's in the storm cloud, it's gonna take one more damage soon. And don't wanna save which one. Hmm. Well it looks like it's better to just blow up that hornet because I won't be able to kill him anyways. I could have interrupted him but they both were aiming to deal one damage. And then you see I lost one HP on the power grid I guess. But I, you don't have to worry about that too much. I mean, ideally you wouldn't take any, any damage. But more important is to fulfill the, the quests. Each star can be turned into a HP if you want, but ideally you'll turn into something better. And then, whenever there's a, a power plant in a mission, you'll get that as a bonus too. So, uh, you you get one one bonus HP if it isn't destroyed. So that's cool. So now I'm in not such a good position. I have to get rid of that. Well, it looks like I won't be killing the, the Scarab, but I'll, I'll just be stunning it, I guess. Okay, I, I could ignore the Scorpion, but there's no point in ignoring it because I can't use it. I mean, that's, that's one of the things that the the pulse mech is... I mean, it's a useless mech, but then when, when you use it to... Oh, this is a cool move. I can blow up this guy and also at the same time use the, the, the cloud here to stop this scarab from attacking, so that's good. So that was fun. I guess I will deal damage to this one additionally, and there we go. So you see that this this squad here is playing a lot different than the the other squad that I, that the basic squad, and there's a lot of squads and they all play fairly different. And you can choose random max or customize act uh, or cost. I mean, you can make a team out of all all the max from all the squads if you want, which is great. So you've got lots of possibilities. Unfortunately, there's a bunch of squads that are just not that good. <laughs> Okay, so I will be... Oh, no, I can't do what I want to do. Okay, so I, this pile is capable of shooting in the smoke. Normally you wouldn't be able to do that, so that's what I'm able to do to, to, to make that maneuver here. I can use the amazing effect of the, the rocket mech here again to cancel an attack as well as dealing damage. And now I have basically won again, nearly flawlessly. I mean, yeah, well, this will count towards flawless, and you wanna, you wanna make it flawless because then you get an extra achievement. It's like, like getting a devil deal in Isaac, I guess. But, I mean, more positive, but yeah. <laughs> so there we go. It's basically like a puzzle slash roguelike game with mechs and, and killer insects and you should check it out. I guess you probably heard of it before but and I'm, I'm late to the, the party of promoting this game but there you go it's a very interesting game. I lost health but I regained it because there was a power plant and if you go over 100% health then you gain an, a, a permanent bonus to, to your health I guess but it's not as good as just having the health, so it's not too punishing if you lose health, which is good, but unfortunately if you're 
if your mechs die and your pilots die, that's really punishing, I guess. So you gotta make sure that your health doesn't go below zero. Oh, there's a pot. What's in it? A pilot. Sweet. Mech starts every mission with a shield. That's a really good pilot. Oh, man. Well, I guess I'm gonna be stuck here playing this game all day. And you should check it out, too. And subscribe for more GameSquid content. Goodbye, everyone.